Hey guys, it's Sandro here with a video today that looks at how to quickly and effectively polish your car's underbody metal components such as this exhaust muffler. Now this was a spur of the moment video while I had this Alfa Romeo up on the hoist checking a couple of things and it came about by giving myself a challenge to see how quickly I could restore the muffler, removing the grime, oxidation and surface rust. So unlike most of my detailing videos that are more about time consuming high end work, this is going to be more of a quick detail focusing on speed rather than perfection but hopefully still obtaining some great results. So before we get to actually polishing the metal it's extremely important to remove all the looser grime by first starting with just a soap or car wash detergent and then moving on to something like a tar and adhesive remover to break down more of that lingering grime. This will massively save you time in the polishing stage by removing that film of grime that would otherwise slow you down and even compromise the finished results. Your last step here should be an IPA or alcohol based wipe down to remove the detergent and chemical residue as once again you really don't want that residue getting into your polishing pad and degrading its performance. Next you're going to need a polishing pad and I'd really recommend you using either a wool or microfiber based pad due to their increased cutting performance compared to foam. I'd also recommend using a coarse cutting compound to start with and using a mini 3 inch polisher and pads due to the smaller size of these intricate areas which just makes it more difficult to use larger machines and pads effectively. Add a few drops of the compound to your pad, spread it over a small section area and using a mid to high machine speed, do approximately 3 to 4 machine row passes, wipe off the compound, check your results and repeat the process as needed until you start to see the shine of the metal come out. As I continue this process in the next few sections, I'll just talk a little more about the products and methods I'm using. Firstly, I'll have links to the products I'm using in the description box. But quite honestly, there's a whole bunch of different pads and compounds you can use to achieve the same results. You'll also notice that I'm using car paint compounds and polishes instead of metal ones. The truth is that apart from a very few select car metal polishes, most of them are just really for light polishing and restoring brilliance to metal. And most of them have either minimal or no abrasives at all and they rely on chemicals to lift oxidation and minor blemishes. So I've personally found throughout the years that car paint compounds are just so much more effective at tackling badly worn and degraded metal parts. And yes you can also use these compounds to polish metal by hand but you just need to realise that it's going to take at least 10 times longer at best. Once you've removed the majority of the rust and oxidation and you're pretty much back to bare metal, you'll find that you will need a second more gentle refinement polishing stage to restore the brilliance to the metal's finish. For this I'm using a foam polishing pad as foam tends to finish far better than wool and I'm also using a finer car polish as opposed to a coarse compound for this finishing stage. I can also work slightly larger areas as I don't need to be quite as aggressive as I was in the first cutting stage. Hopefully you can see that this finishing stage will remove the haze created by the first compounding stage and give the metal that nice glow. And once you're all done, using a high heat resistant ceramic coating like CarPro Deluxe should keep it looking this way for longer. Now the quality of the finish you achieve will also depend on the original quality of the steel, chrome or aluminium you're working on. So a cheaper metal stamped factory muffler such as this is never going to look as good as a quality aftermarket stainless steel or machined metal finish. But at the same time there's no denying that it's a massive improvement for just a mere 10 minutes of work. 
Now if I did want to get the finish even better, I could have given the metal an even more aggressive cut to start with. Or better still, sanded it back to improve the original finish of the stamp metal and then used some even smaller 1 and 2 inch polishing pads and machines to really get into those tighter edges. But make no mistake about it that that would have turned this 10 minute job into a 2 hour job at best. In any case, I really hope you guys enjoyed and found this quick video useful. Please like, comment and subscribe to this channel to show your support for these videos and I'll see you guys soon.